Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I want to start off by thanking Chief Kral, uh, Mayor Kapsikavich, uh, and uh, the City of Toledo for having us here today. Um, as everyone is aware, Chief Kral and the men and women of the Toledo Police Department have been and remain invaluable partners in our community's fight against crime. And it's no secret to anyone that violent crime has been on the rise here in Toledo and indeed across the country. So just for instance, uh, in Toledo alone, shooting incidents have more than doubled since this time last year, and homicides are up over 50%. Uh, and so we're here today uh, before Labor Day weekend arrives uh, because myself, Chief Kroll, and our federal, state, and county partners uh, want to express two things. One is that we're concerned about the potential for a violent weekend, um, not because we have any specific information that indicates that that would be the case, but because we are aware of seasonal trends, uh, we know long holiday weekends tend to lend themselves to incidents where there can be a greater risk of violence, and in particular, firearms violence. And the second thing we want to say today is that we are announcing Project Red Zone will be in effect this weekend in the city of Toledo. Uh, what that means is that uh, if you are prohibited from possessing a firearm under federal law, uh, and you know who you are, but just to lay that out for you, if you have a prior felony conviction, if you have a prior misdemeanor domestic violence conviction, uh, there are a number of other disqualifying conditions. Uh, if you are not allowed to possess a firearm under federal law, you are in the red zone. And if you possess a firearm this weekend, we are going to stop you. We are going to find you. We are going to prosecute you, and you will be prosecuted in federal court. And there are serious consequences for prosecutions in federal court. In partnership with the Toledo Police Department and all the federal agencies who are represented here today, our law enforcement will be out in full force this weekend. Agents with ATF, DEA, FBI, and the U.S. Marshals will be here in the city this weekend to protect the peace and work side by side with the men and women of the Toledo Police Department. We'll be working to deter and to arrest criminals. We want to make sure that people who live in Toledo, who work peacefully in Toledo, who, who reside in Toledo, and who want to celebrate this weekend can do so without any fear of gunfire or other violence. And where we have jurisdiction for those people who offend over this weekend, we will seek federal charges against those who misuse, abuse, or illegally possess firearms. If you sell drugs and you possess firearms, we will prosecute you federally. If you commit acts of violence with a firearm in the city of Toledo, we will prosecute you federally. And these charges are not to be taken lightly. To the criminals and those who seek to commit acts of violence in this city, if you continue to break the laws and abuse your fellow men and women for your own selfish purposes, you will soon find yourself behind bars in a federal prison for a very long time. To the people of the city of Toledo, we all hear you. You deserve peace. You deserve days and nights free from anxiety and fears caused by violent criminals. And we are going to stop at nothing on the federal, state, or local uh, side. We are going to stop at nothing to ensure that we put people who are causing the violence in prison, that we take them off the streets and we take them out of your neighborhoods so that you can live free from any fear of violence, free from fear of uh, firearms violence, and you can enjoy this weekend peacefully with your friends and neighbors. I'll now turn it over to Chief Kroll, make a few remarks. Uh, thank you. As Mr. Herdman was saying earlier, I haven't seen the level of violent crime in this country in decades. And Toledo has not been immune to that. Our homicides are up 68% from the same time last year. Our people shot are up 54% from the same time last year. The violence has to stop in this city. It's my responsibility as chief of police to make sure that the 274,000, give or take, Toledo ones feel safe. Safe to go for a walk. Safe to let their kids play in their front yards. And there's a, a small but active group of people in this city who thinks that they can break the law. They're immune to prosecution and nothing is ever gonna be done about it. Nothing is farther from the truth. As Mr. Herdman said earlier, there's going to be a lot of federal agents in the city over the Labor Day weekend. TPD is going to be out in force. And we will find you if you decide to break the law, specifically violent crimes, 
by way of a firearm, and you won't get out of Lucas County Jail. There will be a holder put on you, and you'll be charged federally. Now, I don't want anybody to think that when Labor Day weekend's over, this is going to stop. That's not true. We're going to continue to double down on gun violence in the city. And we're going to work with our federal partners. We're going to work with our, our partners in Lucas County Common Police Court. And we're going to make sure that if you choose to victimize the citizens of the city, you will be held accountable. I want to thank Mr. Herdman for his partnership, uh, for his friendship, and his commitment to help us keep the citizens of Toledo safe. Thank you, Chief. We'll take any questions if there are any. There's been some angst from folks having federal <laughs> law enforcement in different cities mm -hmm. throughout the country. Do you worry about creating any sort of angst in this community with having more federal resources? I really don't, and it's something I've become accustomed to answering in Cleveland, which is a, a city that is under the banner of Operation Legend, where we have uh, an increased federal law enforcement presence over the long term that's been uh, given to us. We've received additional resources in Cleveland. Uh, we're using the same people who are here every day in Toledo. We're not bringing in additional people. We're not asking for any additional help uh, from the federal government. We're using people who live here, who work here, whose kids go to school here in Toledo. Uh, they're as invested in this community as any resident of the city of Toledo. And I have full faith and confidence in their ability to deliver real results for the people of Toledo. Uh, and, and they're not in this for uh, any other reason other than to deliver a safe and secure community for the residents of Toledo. Are you able to say how many numbers, number of agents you plan to bring in for this weekend? Well, it's, like I said, it's the same people who are always here. I'm not going to get into specific numbers. But suffice it to say, if you're carrying a gun illegally in Toledo this weekend, uh, you better watch out. Because if you get found, if you get caught, uh, when you get found, when you get caught, you're going to federal prison. And it's not going to be down the street in Lorain County, Ohio. You're going to be in Yazoo City, Mississippi, or somewhere out in California. That's where federal prisons are. They're not down the street. Maybe this is a question for Chief Crawl, but for all of these crimes, are you seeing a pattern in them being random, or are these people connected? The, the simple answer is yes. Um, we've, seen, we've seen retaliatory shootings. We've seen pure randomness. We've seen crimes of opportunity. So it, to say that the uptick is because of one specific um, cause or, or, or gang, if you will, no, it's, it's, it's a mixture of everything. Are you able to say how many additional officers that you're bringing on this weekend? Um, we're still working on those numbers, but um, suffice it to say that you're going to see a lot more marked police cars out there, and there'll be a significant amount of undercover and plainclothes officers as well. And then logistically, Chief, how do you plan to do this? Are you going to be stopping random vehicles? Are you going to be coming up to people walking the streets? How's that going to happen? No. We're, the last thing we're going to do is violate people's civil rights. Um, our Field operations officers, our, our special operations officers, they know what they're doing. They're going to do exactly what they've been doing in the past. Um, if you, if you, there's a, a vehicle um, infraction, they'll pull a car over. Um, if there's a probable cause that they believe that individuals have committed a crime, they'll do an investigative stop. But we're just going to be doing everything that we're doing just at a much larger scale. You stand for you, you know that there's a highly charged atmosphere when it comes to law enforcement. Do you have any worry about any retaliation or blowback when you have such a concentrated effort like this? Yeah, the atmosphere in this country is, is volatile, if you, if you will. But the far more, there's far more people who want law enforcement out on the streets proactively arresting people who are out there violating, violating the law, victimizing them. There's, I would say, 80-20. It, it and am I worried that there's going to be retaliation or, or some type of civil unrest? No, because we're going to do things legally. We're going to do things lawfully. We're going to do things equitably. And we're going to make this community safer. I don't know if you wanted to add. No, that's good. All right, thank you very, very much. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. I also have a press release I'll send out to the